Uh, hi, I am Rafael Seregati. Uh, and firstly, I want to, th uh, to thank to the organizers for the, the opportunity to show my work. And today I'm going to talk about a, a problem that I'm, I'm working my master degree. My master degree is a joint, joint program between the University of Sao Paulo and Federal University of Sao Carlos. And this work was made jointly with the professors Luis Ernesto Bueno Salazar and Rafael Esbique. Mm. Ah. And I want thanks to CAPES and FAPEP, FAPESP for the financial support too. Uh, the summer, first I will introduce the problem and then I will define our index and provide a motivation for it. Then I will introduce the Dirichlet process, process necessary to the simulation study and do an application to and conclude the, the work. The problem is one basic problem, uh, one, basic, one basic problem in statistics is to test the difference between you want to test the difference between two groups. For example, a group that received a placebo and a group that received a drug. And this problem is known in the literature as the two sample problem. It's a common problem in the statistics. Uh, unfortunately, very few attempts of attacking this problem from a Bayesian non-parametric perspective exist. And, and to test, uh, to test the equality of the two populations, we propose a non-parametric Bayesian evidence index uh, that consists in a posterior rate and mean of the distance between the, the populations. Um, now, uh, assume that two independent uh, samples are drawn for both, for both populations. Uh, and uh, our end is to test the, the new hypothesis, 8-0, the populations are equal, against the, alterna the alternative hypothesis, 8-1, the populations are different. And what is equivalent to the hypothesis 8-0, the distance between the populations is zero, uh, against the, hypothesis, uh, the alternative hypothesis, 8-1, uh, the distance between the populations is greater than zero. Uh, our, our proposal is to measure the evidence against the hypothesis A0 by the following index. Um, when given an expression one. With, uh, the W is a non-crazy density function uh, and M is the supremum of the distance between the populations. Uh, note here that the distance between the populations is a parameter here, is a parameter. Now, uh, now I will motivate why we define the index uh, as the expression one. Uh, one way to, to test uh, if the two populations are equal is to, to set a positive epsilon and compute the distance between the populations and if the distance between the, the populations is greater than this epsilon, we say that the population is different. And if it's uh, smaller than this epsilon, we say that the population, that the populations are equal. Um, and suppose that this, uh, that positive epsilon value can be considered. And the higher is the posterior probability of the event of the event that the distance between the populations is greater than zero, the higher is the evidence against the hypothesis A0. But in many, uh, many instances, it might not be clear uh, how to choose appropriate the epsilon value. Then we combine the different evidence values by taking a weight average with respect to, the eps to epsilon. Um, 
where in then we which leads to the expression one from uh, an direct uh, direct application of bin steering uh, we can write the expression one as an expectation this expectation is with respect to the probability the posterior probability the posterior probability px x x y mm. And this BW is the cumulative density function of the W. Uh, we can also motivate our index by decision theory. And if we consider uh, the loss, this loss function, uh, the base rule for, for this problem is reject the hypothesis A0 if and only if uh, the or index is greater than uh, a value, a threshold C, where C is given as this ratio. Uh, here we, we have a problem, and uh, one problem is how to how to choose the the this threshold C, how to to determine this value. Um, not to proceed, our our approach is is really general and can to be applied with and non-parametric prior, but to proceed with the simulation study, we need to introduce the, we, we choose one non-parametric prior and we pro to proceed with the simulation study. Uh, first we have a, an, an, an space eight and a sigma algebra beta, and we will define, uh, and we can define a Dirichlet process on it. And to do this, we need to specify uh, some hyperparameters. Uh, one hyperparameter is this, this G, is a base probability, and another hyperparameter e is K, the concentration parameter. And uh, a Dirichlet process is, if I have a partition of our space, uh, definite dimensional distribution of uh, Definition, definite dimensional distribution is it has a Dirichlet distribution with parameters k times g1, uh, the base probability in the set b1, and so on. Uh, some properties is that the the mean of the Dirichlet process is the base probability uh, and the variance of the Dirichlet process process is uh, a ratio and we can note that this ratio depends on, on k. Therefore, to, uh, if, if we have a, a big k, then the, we have a, a small variance. And so that means that if we sample a distribution from the Dirichlet process, this, distribu this distribution is close to the base uh, to the basic probability. Uh, one important property of the Dirichlet process is it's, it's uh, the conjugate property. It's um, that is it's enough to know how to sample from the Dirichlet process because if we if we gave a prior as the Dirichlet process and and take a sample from it, the posterior is again a Dirichlet process. Uh, is again the Dirichlet process with uh, concentration parameter k plus n, n as the sample, as the size, sample size, and the base probability. Now it's a mixture between the base probability and the empirical distribution. Here is the uh, uh, we present a practical way to simulate from the Dirichlet process. Uh, and this algorithm was presented by Seturama in, in by Seturama. It's, uh, it's a simple algorithm to simulate from the Dirichlet process. It's really useful. And from expression four, we can note that uh, we sample a discrete distribution from the Dirichlet process with probability one, it's it's easily to see. Uh, now we we start to we start to the simulation study. Uh, to determine the, the threshold C, 
uh, we adopt a base non base compromise uh, and the idea is to select this, the threshold C that controls the type 1 error. Uh, and to compute the threshold, uh, to determine the threshold, we, uh, we set independent Dirichlet proxies from both populations. The Komogorov metric as the distance, the metric, and this weight function. That is the uh, cumulative, uh, as a cumulative distribution from the beta distribution with parameters 1 and lambda. And uh, for the Dirichlet process, we choose the concentration parameter k equal 1 and the hyperparameter g in according with the data support. If the data support is in the real line, we set the standard normal distribution. If the data support is in the positive real line, we set the standard log normal distribution. And if the, uni uh, the data support is in the unitary interval, we set the uniform distribution. And here we present the thresholds that we, we, we found. From, and in this table, we have, uh, here is the data support. And from here is the parameter lambda of the uh, cumulative weight function. It, so um, we also compare our decision criteria with the komogorov smirnov test and the Wilcoxon test. Uh, and we consider eight scenarios representing different uh, departures from the new. Uh, the first six scenarios is the same scenarios that this, uh, the article of Chris Holmes uh, of uh, 2015, in that uh, he, he uh, is in the Bayesian analysis uh, paper. Um, and we consider two more scenarios, the normal skewness and the better stream symmetry scenario. Uh, and the comparison is made in terms of the power to detect the alternative. That is, we, we fix a threshold that controls the type one error and and see how the power function, uh, uh, you see the behavior of the power function. And then for, don't for, then for each value of theta, we sample 50 uh, uh, observations from X and Y, and we establish this weight function, the W4, and we repeat these steps. Uh, a thousand of times and compute the proportion of time that's, that we reject the new hypothesis. And here is the plots of our results. Uh, our index corresponds to the green line, or the power of the power function of our index corresponds to the green line. And in almost all scenarios, we have that uh, it, it is, it's show better results then the komogorov smirnov tests, and the Wilcoxon tests. Uh, the y-axis, uh, the axis y, uh, corresponds to the power, and the axis x corresponds to the change of the parameter theta. Additionally, we also uh, investigate the con uh, constants of the proposed method, that is we study the power function under the alternative uh, for increasing sample size. And again, uh, our index showed, showed better results than the Komogorov Smirnov test and Wilcoxon tests. Uh, and now uh, we apply our method to a data set of three groups of patients. Uh, and we want to know if this group is di are different or, or not. And uh, this group was submitted to an exam, uh, a Ken Cog. Ken Cog is an exam to, to 
determine if a person have Alzheimer, if it uh, have a tendency to, to have Alzheimer, or if it doesn't have. If it, he, it doesn't have. And, uh, the, and the King Cog is a score, and how, and the smaller is the score uh, if the person doesn't have Alzheimer's. And here is the descriptive analysis. Uh, we can note that uh, the persons that have Alzheimer's uh, presented uh, smaller results, and the uh, health cognition group, the persons that doesn't have any problems with cognition, uh, uh, presented uh, a bigger results. And well, it's expected that our index uh, present uh, the great, greater the great the greater distance between the groups, the groups that has health cognition and the group that uh, have Alzheimer's, and we can see it in here. Um, we can see uh, and the and we compare if this this threshold our these groups are are different well, and, and then uh, the Kencog we can conclude that the Kencog it's a useful tool for initial diagnostic being able to properly uh, distinguish between the three groups. Uh, the conclusions are the new e index presented better results than the komogorov smirnov test and the Wilcoxon tests uh, in the majority of the scenarios considered. Uh, Outward, we have chosen the Dirichlet proxies as our prior for the UNC node distribution and in non-parametric prior uh, or parametric priors could be used as well. And first research uh, should be investigate the effect of the choice for the metric D and the weight function W on the power performance and also to try to find theoretical properties, uh, theoretical guarantees about the consistency of the proposed index. Here's some reference. Thanks very much.